Second, and this is, this is one that, uh, as an Alaskan, where we have very strong fisheries, a very healthy fisheries, I worry about what will happen if, in fact, there is escape into the wild by these genetically engineered fish. You've got a frankenfish that gets loose. Now, they'll tell you they're, not dis they're, they're gonna be in pens. We will make sure that there's no escapement. But how can they guarantee that? How can they make sure that we're not going to see escapement? We've seen escapement clearly from the farm fish that come and mingle with the wild stocks. We see the disease that can be transmitted. How is any of this good? Even though this, this, this genetically engineered fish supposedly is gonna be kept in a closed system, onshore pens, the possibility of, of escape, it is recognized. Is, is still out there, it still exists. And then what you're gonna have, you're gonna have gen these, these genetically engineered fish that are going to breed year round. They are also going to be eating year round. They're going to be feeding year round. And what you, what you can very possibly see is this competition with the wild stock. They will compete with one another for the food for the food that the species feed on. They'll wreak havoc with the ecosystem. So you are, you are introducing, and granted, not intentionally, but you can introduce into the ecosystem a, a fish that just doesn't work with our wild stock.